everybody, and welcome back to Jericho Energy's channel. We're sitting here once again with Brian, and we want to go over the state of the hydrogen market right now. We want to talk about some company updates, and we want to touch on the video series you guys put out. But first off, Brian, how are you doing? Doing well, Michael. Thanks for asking. Good, good. Glad to hear it. So let's dive into the state of hydrogen right now. First off, a couple of weeks ago, um, the DOE put out a $52.5 million hydrogen plan, right? So this is really good to see because before they had talked about it, they were going to do it, but it's great to see it play in action. Brian, do you have anything you want to add? I think it's great. Uh, we're really excited to see the DOE come out with a, a bullish, bullish look on hydrogen and a push to see hydrogen being a part of the energy transition and asking the industry, what can we do to help? Um, which is which is a great sign in terms of getting participation from the government to see uh, an energy transition take hold and eventually reduce the carbon footprint of our energy sources. Good, good. You know, and um, I think it's important for people to understand that hydrogen is still a technology that is improving right now, right? You're seeing solar to hydrogen, which is essentially just pulling hydrogen out of water with solar energy, now reaching up to 100 days of operation. Brian, do you see hydrogen continuing to grow technologically over the next couple of years? I do. Like every source of energy, it takes time, right? So as we've transitioned over history through different energy sources, um, it takes some time to develop and become more efficient and reach, you know, consumer and commercial scale. And so for hydrogen, you're seeing the same thing. You're seeing uh, uh, finally the push from a global government, from a global industry, and from a global consumer base to have cleaner energy sources. And you're seeing hydrogen push the boundaries of known science and develop into being one of those fuel that delivers clean energy for the, the foreseeable future. Agreed, agreed. It is something that's continuously growing. And speaking of companies working with hydrogen, let's talk about Jericho for a minute here. You guys just announced yesterday you're co-leading an investment in a hydrogen catalyst discovery platform. Can you tell us more about the platform? Oh, it's very, very exciting. Absolutely. So in, in the evolution of hydrogen, what we were just talking about was the build out, right? Mm -hmm. And so one of the constraints is, is that you need a catalyst, something to create and enhance reactions. Um, and in electrolyzers, which are the generally the most used source for green hydrogen right now, your catalysts tend to be platinum and iridium. Mm -hmm. So imagine electrolyzers and green hydrogen are 2% of the, of the market. Imagine if they grow to 50%, the demand on these precious metals is going to send those prices skyrocketing, yeah. right? And so what we, we think is so special about the H2U platform is, is that you have a, a 10 year DOE funded program with some of the smartest folks in the space, in the world, working together to figure out how do we use more earth abundant materials mm -hmm. as catalysts. And so what they've developed is a system to test a million, up to a million catalyst compounds a day so wow. that we can replace iridium and platinum as the backbone of the, of the electrolyzer catalyst market and now transition to catalysts that are much more earth abundant. So to try and rip that cost out. So when you talk about energy transition, it's always about cost. So yeah. how do you make it at a cost that's affordable to the user? This is a key, key component is being able to do this for electrolyzers, fuel cells, and eventually batteries. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense to to prepare for the growing pains that inevitably happen as we put pressure on the resources that are currently used and trying to find more abundant ones. That's a really good plan there. And last but not least, I want to talk to you guys about this video series you guys are putting out. Can you tell us what the, who this video series is targeted to and just give us kind of a summary? Yeah, so the video series we did, Michael, was about breaking hydrogen down into consumable bite sizes, taking the pieces, because most people's perception of hydrogen is, is that it's highly flammable, right? So everybody you know, has this myth that if they put it under their car seat, their car's gonna explode and they're gonna shoot straight to the moon, right? Or the Hindenburg yeah. um, and the crash of the Hindenburg, it was, it was, it was um, it, from hydrogen. And so from my perspective, the video series is designed to show people that hydrogen is so much more, right? It's, element number one in the periodic table, mm -hmm. right? It has, you know, the reason to focus on hydrogen is because it is storable, because it is consumable, because it has high energy content. It serves as such a great replacement for fossil fuels uh, because they too, storable, good thermal value, you know, all the things that we need for ready available energy. And so for us, the idea was to give people pieces of the things that hydrogen is a part of and how it fits in everyday world. Um, 
and hopefully we did it in a, in in a way that is digestible for for the average reader, average listener, as opposed to the you know twenty year scientist. Yeah, yeah, and you know if anyone wants to watch that, we have a link to the website below where you can check it out. If you have any questions about it or anything else in this video, don't be afraid to send them over to us. We'll be happy to elaborate on anything. Brian, any last words before we go? No, excited about what we're doing. Looking forward to doing more things and growing Jericho um, through the hydrogen value chain. All right. Well, everybody, thank you for watching. Brian, thank you for coming on and everyone stay tuned. Thanks, Michael. Take care.